It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Tennessee Titans and the Chicago Bears next on Madden Football. Now from the second city of Chicago, head down Lakeshore Drive and you find Venerable Soldier Field, home of the Bears. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson here in the booth. Carter, these are a couple of teams that struggled a year ago, finished out of the playoffs. They were under 500. That's what you love about the NFL. A new season brings renewed optimism. Absolutely, and really, Mike, a lot of new faces at critical places. I mean, there is a lot of new pieces to the puzzle here, both coaching staff and the roster of players. They believe last year is over. They do not think there is any correlation between the squad they're planning to put on the field today and that one that we saw really go through some growing pains and struggles just a year ago. So pleased to have you along. This should be a good one. We're set and off we go here on EA Sports. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The Bears come out with their quarterback, Caleb Williams. All of Chicago hoping this is the man who can finally answer that long search for a franchise quarterback for the Bears. He won the Heisman. He's the number one overall pick in this past year's draft. The term generational talent, Mike, it gets thrown around. I feel a little bit too loosely these days, but you could argue if there's one guy worthy of that description, it's Williams. I mean, only time's going to tell how accurate it is, but... When you watch him play, it becomes abundantly clear. This guy has everything you want in a franchise quarterback. The arm talent's obvious, but it's the ability to make those off-script plays right in the midst of chaos that make him such an interesting prospect. You know what the best part is, though, Mike, really? We get a first-hand look to see exactly how he's developing over these next couple hours. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. On the bootleg, it's Williams. No chance at all. He'll go down. Well, here early on, if this pass rush continues to get home at this rate, this is going to be a long day for this offense. They're going to have to put some extra guys in there, mix in some play action, keep this pass rush off balance. Third and nine. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. Give him 11 on the scramble and give them a new set of downs. This is an element that defensively you always have to be ready to defend. You can't just accept that it's a pass and be so consumed with the receivers downfield. You have to account for the quarterback as a scrambler. You can see why as he's able to get out of the pocket and pick up the first down. Now the former Eagle and Lion is back in the NFC North. It's DeAndre Swift. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. And for the second straight offseason, it's kind of hard to believe Mike Swift kind of finds himself in a new place every year. This time it's with Chicago. Just a year ago, over 1,000 yards rushing, and he's going to be looking to build off that last year's success. On first down, they give it right back to Swift. And that'll be a pickup of three. Second and seven. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. Toward the middle, that's caught by Moore. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass, get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, 
and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. They're trying to use that size to push forward, but it's not going to work. Defense strong up front. And they're going to get him down behind the line of scrimmage. This is a guy that we're used to seeing make a lot of his plays in the back end. Mike kind of patrolling that center field safety position, but this time he recognized that play up at the line of scrimmage, and he blows it up for a loss. Here's a handoff to Swift. He brings this to about the 26-yard line. Kenneth Murray, the linebacker, there on the stop. So we've come to the end of a fairly evenly played opening quarter. Nothing, nothing is the score. We're back to Soldier Field after this. Third and long. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. He's got it inside the five. And he's going to be brought down. I mean, what a start to this game throwing the ball. I mean, I don't think the ball's hit the ground yet, Mike. I mean, he's four for four. Now he's got his offense set up here early with first and goal. This opening drive, it has been a work of art. Now, can they put the finishing touches on? It's first and goal. And that big offensive line, clearing space. He's in. DeAndre Swift, touchdown Chicago. Good drive. They kept the ball. Greg, they moved it effectively down the field and finish it off on the ground for the touchdown. So often, Mike, we see teams work on a great drive to get down here close only to settle for a field goal. But in this case, give them a lot of credit. They put a great drive together, but they're able to capitalize and finish it off with six. Now Cairo Santos to add the point after. It's up and through. And the Bears will take a 7-0 lead. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. This returnable from the four. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Titans coming up with their quarterback, Will Levis. Good performance last year. Taken early in that second round in the 2023 draft. Greg, this quarterback out of Kentucky could be the future for Tennessee. As hard as it may be, Mike, to resist, I don't think they need to come out and think we have to match them big play for big play after just giving up that early score. Stick to your plan. Pick up the first first down and allow this game to start unfolding and settle into a rhythm. Execute your game plan. Don't try to match what your opponents do. Here's Levis to open with a pass. That one complete. It's Tyler Boyd. And they'll bring him down, but not until he gets to the 38-yard line. Nice grab there by Boyd, and I think it was really smart of the Titans in how they pursued this, Mike. I mean, think, they put him together with his former offensive coordinator, Brian Callahan, all in hopes that the two of them can help Will Levis take that next step in his development. Next to the former Jaguar and Falcon, Calvin Ridley. Quick. 
take him down behind the line. When you can get this level of run support out of your secondary, Mike, man, what an advantage for any defense. This defensive back clearly reads run, gets off his block, and he's able to take down the back for a loss of yards. From the gun, on third down, here's Levis. He's got his tight end, that's a Conquo. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. He got loose after the grab, and they couldn't bring him down. A gain of 28. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. From the gun, it's Levis. Inside the 10, it is caught. And he's in. DeAndre Hopkins. Touchdown, Tennessee. And what a response by this offense. It's not easy taking the field, Mike, for the first time in the game, and you find yourself already down a score. They watch their opponent kind of march down the field and score on the opening possession, and they're able now to go out and square it on up. Allows you to take a deep breath, maybe get a little confidence for your defense to go out and get a stop, and they come over with this extra point. We got ourselves a tie ball game. The veteran Nick Folk here for the extra point. The kick, the kick is, is good. good. And the Titans come right back to tie it at seven. Each team one possession, each team a score. 7-7 as they kick it off. On the return, it's Tyler Scott. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. DeAndre Swift and the Bears offense set for their next possession. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at 7 as they start this drive first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Williams. He's got his man, Carter. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. He'll find the first rounder out of Washington, Rome Odunze. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Here's Williams now to throw. That is left side and taken in by Allen. They'll come up here on second down and five. To throw it again, it's Williams. And they're going to get to him and take him down, take him back to the other side of midfield. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. third down it's William 
to the outside. A catch made by Moore. And he will not quite get to the marker. Good job there defensively. And now, decision time. What are you going to do on fourth down? So, one touchdown apiece for our two teams. 7-7 on the board here at the break. As we'll send you down to Orlando now for Jonathan Coachman as our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Mike, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. A touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven the score as we begin half number two. On the return, here's Tajay Spears. And he is stopped at 25. The drive will begin there. The Titans offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. Low scoring game, all tied. Third quarter, and a touchdown here could go a long way. See if they can get it on this drive. First and 10. The drive starts. It's a carry by Pollard. And he'll take this up to the 30. A pickup of five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Again, it's Pollard. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scourge, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. Number one rule of run blocking for the offensive line is you don't want to allow penetration. It just doesn't give your running back any angles to cut and find the hole. It's exactly how it played out here. They've got to do a better job holding the line of scrimmage and not getting pushed back. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. That's over the middle and taken in. He's got it. And a big strike for good yardage there all the way up to midfield. Well, the run after catch is certainly nice, and they're definitely going to take it. But watch the savviness of the route running. Certain guys just have a better field for running these slant routes than others, and it's a nice result. First and ten. They give to Pollard on the option. I know it's easy from up in the booth, Mike, but I think that's one of those zone reads where the quarterback needs to pull it and keep it himself. The defense was clearly keyed on the running back. Not much room in there. No game. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Looks like movement over there on the left side, and the flag is down. Ball start. They get the former first-rounder out of Northwestern, Peter Skoronsky. They'll run once more, and it's Pollard again. And some good blocking, springing up a gain of nine as we get to third down. the shotgun. Levis. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Got to give a lot of credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was plenty of time for the quarterback to work through his progression. I thought the protection was actually pretty solid. But at the end of it, there was just nowhere to go, and he had no choice but to just throw that ball away. On fourth down, they'll turn to Ryan Stonehouse here to punt. Tyler Scott deep to return this one. And we will not have a return here. This one angled out of bounds. The Bears offense trotting back out for their first involvement of this second half. We'll try to establish some tempo 
as they start this one with first and ten. They'll start on the ground with Swift. That one good for a dozen and a very quick first down. The ability to be effective on first down, Mike, it just makes everything else easier. In the event you do have to face a third down down the road, they're usually a lot more manageable situations, a lot easier to convert. Throwing on first down, it's Williams. That's caught left side by Odunze. He's taken down, but just shy of midfield. And as we see Rome Odunze come up with a nice completion, Mike, let's remember, he's only one of two guys to rank in the top ten of college football in receiving yards each of the last two seasons. I mean, production, the ability to compete, high point the ball. I mean, those are all boxes that Odunze checks, and everyone around this Chicago Bears organization they couldn't have been happier with the way this draft fell, and they think they had a superstar in the making here at wide receiver. So, points at a premium. Defensive battle so far as we are through three. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. They'll come up now for second down and four. Now Williams. That's complete. It's Odunze. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Really nice job here by the quarterback, understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver, pick up a first down. He'll run. And he's going to be stopped in his tracks. He'll lose a couple of yards on that one. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. They'll run here. Very positive returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. But you know what? The way he ran there, I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in him. Here's third and two. They'll keep it on the ground. And right to the 25-yard line, that is enough for the first down. So they pick it up on the ground, and the drive keeps going. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. They'll stick to the ground. Oh! Look at him move away from a tackler as he winds up gaining seven yards. Nice run there. Two minutes to play in regulation. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. Here's second down and three. A run with Swift. And he is not going to get away. Might have gotten a yard, but it will set up third down. The first of their timeouts. 
And he'll take it with just over 90 seconds left on the clock. So now the Brazilian-born Cairo Santos in a big spot. This to grab a late lead. This kick is good. They move out front and take the lead here in the fourth quarter. And this has been such a tight game, but that's a big one right there. I mean, you need a kicker with confidence. Well, this guy, he fits the bill. He steps up and knocks it through to give his guys a lead here in the fourth quarter. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. This will be returned from the six. Now an opening past the 30. A good return as he takes it across the 30. The Titans offense ready to come back out for this next possession. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and 10. They'll drop to throw. That caught Tony Pollard. And they bring him down, but not until he gets the 45-yard line. All right, this is a good start. Plays like these are definitely going to help as you work your way into scoring range. While you have to be wary of the clock and keep an eye on it, they should have plenty of time here to finish this drive. On first down, Levis. He'll look for Pollard out of the backfield. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. They'll come up now for second down. Levis to throw. This one is caught downfield by Ridley. And this is a touchdown. They were not going to be denied. And they have taken the lead here in the final minute of play. A terrific play all the way around. Finished off by the receiver who not only made the grab, but Greg turned it up and takes it into the end zone. And that's the tricky part, Mike, that transition from receiver to runner. And in this case, he does it flawlessly. Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then get upfield and get yourself in the end zone. Now, folks, on for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Titans are on top. It's 14 to 10. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. Scott now on the return. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more. Trail by four. Touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. And it's complete, 
to the sideline. Nice job getting both feet down inbounds. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. Throwing on second down, Williams. Completing that one to Carter. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Final minute, still two timeouts remaining as we get to first and ten. Operating from the shotgun, it's... And the rush gets there. Down he goes. That's a second charge timeout to Chicago. And we'll stop it with a little over 30 left in the game. Now, on second and long. Throwing is Williams. He'll get this underneath to Swift. The Bears go ahead, take their third and final timeout, and they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining on the clock. Big play in the game right here. It's third down. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. As this game continues to come down to the wire, Mike, it just reminds us, this is where quarterbacks earn their keep. You are judged by how you play in these critical moments. In fourth quarter, down a score, it doesn't get much bigger than this. Here we go. One final play. That'll be caught along the sideline. Good work there. So this one, a win for the visiting Titans. They were the aggressors from the start, able to dictate the pace of play. And in the end, they come away with the victory. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. So long, everybody.